me playing the tabla. Ustaji Z Corbin Miles. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of the idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Do you follow us on Instagram? Juicy Golden! You did! He is more talented than I. Just a little. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, I think he could he could do a little better than like I can do like the but he can do like everything else. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. I can bring that to the tablet party. Yeah. Anyway, today we're doing a little bit of information. This is Tablet Lesson by say this name. Sanju Sahal. Or is that Sahai? Is that an I? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sanju Sahai. A Western viola player gets a short lesson in tabla from tabla maestro Sanju Sahai, dedicated specifically to Corbin. Thanks, appreciate that. If I had a dollar for every time he says, how do they make these sounds with their fingers, I'd be rich. They're gonna, it's true. They're going to tell us how they they're make gonna those sounds with They're going to tell you how they fingers? make the sounds with the fingers. Okay. Hope this gives some insights into that. I, I told your mom how I did something else with my fingers. Ooh, and she told me she loved it. <laughs> okay, let's We're just, so gross. Let's just get into it. Wow. <laughs> I'm, wow, I'm, dis so, I'm disgusted that now. That is so disgusting. Here we go. This is cool. Also, have we heard this gentleman before? Have we ever seen him? I don't know. If we have, it was a while ago. Clearly, he's at Ustaji as well. Yeah, he's a, so. yeah I mean, he's... Yeah, 100%. They're like any other drum head and that they can give and that, that mm -hmm, is the pressure down. Hello everyone, my name is Heis. I'm a viola player in the Harmonia Orchestra. Nice. And today I'm actually going to experience something very, very special. Um, I'm dressed like this, seated like this, and I'm meeting a very special man. He's called Sanju Sahai, and he's a fantastic top out player. And um, hopefully he's going to teach me something about Indian classical music. Maybe teach me the very basics of the tabla, and uh, I brought my viola so we can see if we can maybe play something together. But we'll see about that later. Uh, Sanju, hi. Hi. Um, can you tell me something general about uh, Indian classical music? Sure. Um, I play the instrument called tabla, which comes from the northern part of India. As you know, India is huge, and we have two main systems of music. Hindustani music, and which is from the northern part of India, mm -hmm. and in the south, Karnataka is called Carnatic music. Tabla, unlike other drums, has a language. So if I said Dhadi Rudra Dhadi Dha to you, it means absolutely nothing. But if you say that to a, a tabla player, it means this Dhadi Rudra Dhadi Dha. Dhadi Rudra Dha, Katagi Kadin. Nagadhi, Katagi Kadin. So everything I recite, everything I speak, I can play on the drums. Now, how do I do that? We have a. I just want to say sounds to a tablet player. player. Like most languages, on the right hand drum, we have twelve different strokes. They are ta, na. Din, Shut up. Din, te, 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 re. So those sounds actually mean somewhere. Oh, wow. I just thought they were a sound. Me too. <laughs> but when they're saying the da ka 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 they're doing that. Oh it's my. Cool. It's more. I'm pretty sure about that. So probably about um, 64. Um, only two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Also known as ghe or uh, ghe, ten times, and ki, ka, and ka, played like this. But 
this is the melodic side of the tabla. Once we tune the right hand drum, tabla, to say your tonic, we can't change the pitch. But here on the bayang, the left hand drum is called bayang, we can So using the pressure, I can actually change the pitch. Oh, wow. So what would you like to learn about tabla today? Well, it'd be great to have a very basic, maybe basic stroke which I could do because I'm, as in the other way, I'm just, just going like that. It doesn't sound right, does Excellent. it? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, Don't but, play uh, like a conga. Let's place it very close to you. Okay. Sitting sit cross-legged is not comfortable for him. He's got a long <laughs> legs. Yes. Um, I laughed because I used to have a problem with that. I know what that feels like. And we place our hands like this. And in tabla, normally, we make this shape. So, yeah. Which is the cross-legged okay. seat. Yes. You know, his so knees are flat down. down. His arm goes, well. you can't do that. You can't do it. I will make the left hand, as if you're holding a little ball here. Mm -hmm. We place it on the edge of this round black spot, yeah. known as siahi. siahi. Yeah. So we place the hand right on the edge of it, and using these two fingers, mm -hmm. the ring finger and the middle finger, we make a strike like this. With two of them? Yes. Very good. And that's known as ghi. Mm -hmm. And although it's not wrong for you to be playing with the same set of fingers, but this is like hopping on one leg. You can run if you use the other one, like this. So one stroke like that, mm -hmm. the second one with the first with one. The index with the index finger. So one, two. The little finger and the thumb doesn't actually play a stroke, but they're always supporting. So aim to have the middle finger right in the center of the siahi and lift. Very good. Uh, that squeaky sound means you may want to use some talcum powder. Uh -huh. So just a little amount. Good for the balls too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually don't do that. I think it gives you cancer. Yeah. I think they learned that now. Did they? Yeah, I've never done that. Okay. Okay. I know a lot of guys with the gesture. They could put it on like it's never going out of style. And exactly not as, in the same spot. Not as flat. Okay. Oh, yeah. For the index finger. He has oh, yeah. such force in his so, fingers. Okay. Listen to the difference in the tone. Okay. There it was. The tone. It's quite the same. No, it doesn't. It's tuned differently. Ah, yeah, but it's also the way he's hitting it. Okay. Sure, it has nothing bah. to do with your skill. Brilliant. Bah, bah. So you can hear I, it. We don't have tunes in Tabla. Mm. But we have um, theme and variations. Mm -hmm. So the theme is known as Kaida. So I will teach you kata number one. Gi, gi, te, te. That's the first line of the <coughs> So we know gi, gi, te, te. It's hard to get that much force in. Gi, gi, then te, te. Again. Right in the middle of the chest, it's E. E. Again, E. E. Then, flat sound. Yeah. 
okay. right in the middle. We use this to um, demonstrate how the horses uh -huh. move like. begins the same way, which is he, he, where he goes he, so using the he, the sign, yeah, that's, that's so it begins here and ends here, so he, the, the, again, The the sciatic with your palm. So T R T D. Could you say it? T R T D. Brilliant. So in the same space mm -hmm. as Dete, we're now playing four different turtles. Mm -hmm. First line. He. He. Second line, he, 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 first line, he, it's amazing how much power he can get out of his finger. Second line, he, 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 so good. Kaida has two parts. First half is known as Kuli, and that's what you're playing, the first two lines. Mm -hmm. The third and fourth line is known as Mundi. They kind of rhyme. He, he, de, de, he, he, de, de, So complicated. He, he, de, de. Like he, even just he, in drumming, he, you don't he, have this many. He, he, like the beginning. Like how so, we're going to just like jazz, the we're just, just free form in this. Right. We're completely wrong. <laughs> Beginning. One. Are we not in the beginning yeah. anymore? Very good indeed for somebody who has never ever played tabla before. I'd like you to play the kaida, the tempo you are playing, mm -hmm. and I want to demonstrate how we. I'd love to do something like this. Me too. Very double. The dream would be with Zakir. Same, 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 but I'm pretty sure that's a uh, a privilege mm -hmm. very few get. <laughs> that's like. <laughs> It's like having a catch yeah. with hey, Eddie Van Halen wanted to teach me play guitar. Yeah, exactly. I'll, I shall use you as my metronome. metronome yes. So don't be distracted. I will change the tempo. But then I'll just keep going. You just keep going. Okay. Okay, here we go. One, a two, a one, two, three, four, one.
then okay. E. Yeah. The musician, he's just 
you can go and invest for three hours in the music concert. You play some good things. crazy cool <laughs> yeah i would i've often had this idea of actually trying all these instruments or, or, or things like it's hard obviously because we don't have all the access to either like if we were in it it'd be very easy to find, a, find a tabla player and and have them sit down with us and and do a quick learning just video. call to char and say hey we need to talk to somebody who plays yeah okay here call my friend obviously it's yeah. much more difficult and we're in a pandemic uh of course yeah that's and i can't just call up zakir hussein and be like hey man you want to yeah. teach it? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a privilege exclusive for no one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but I've, I, I would, I'd love to do that. There's stuff I would have loved to like, like games we've seen or, or like, like comedy, comedy. I would love to maybe, play comedy or maybe if we said, you know, for our 1 million celebration, since you were our very first interview, would you let us interview you again and just let 10 minutes of it be, you teach us how to play the tabla? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'd be actually interesting to do an interview again with uh with Sad. Like, oh I because everybody we've we, talked to I want to talk to again. One, because that was our first interview ever. I know. And so uh That's and, and now we've learned more. Yeah. We've learned more about him. He was so gracious. Mm -hmm. He was so gracious to us. Absolutely. Man. <sighs> that was nice. That was nice. That was really nice. That was really cool. Yeah, it was really cool seeing so many. It, obviously, it's a it's an instrument that you can't just teach in a setting. You you can't just teach it, and it's not like you know with a drum set. You can go into a guitar center here, and I can sit down on a on a drum set, and I can go. And you could think I know how to play the drums. Mm -hmm. A drummer could come in and go, "Oh, that's fine. It's just a standard thing he's doing. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he actually knows how to play the drums. But at least he can sit on the kit and play it. Mm -hmm. You can't do that with the table. no." You can't just start hitting on there's it. Like, the minute you start to strike it, a tablet player is going to know. There's a power that comes from their fingers. Everything and... about it. They're going to know instantly if you've been trained on tablet. You can't just sit down and play it and get away with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was cool. I love watching people who obviously this man on the viola is fantastic. Yeah. And he's willing to be teachable and sit in front of someone else to do something and be a beginner. Mm -hmm. Which everybody, and he was at one point on the viola. He was a beginner at one point. Yeah. So that was really great. That was really cool. Let us know what other uh, informational videos, uh, if anybody knows um, uh, any famous 
Uh, musicians who just love to teach us stuff. Yeah. Send them our way. Our way. If uh, Lada is free, just uh, send her our way. I would love to learn how to do what she, she does. does. Yeah. She probably teaches in a few lessons, I guess. I'm sure. She's got nothing else to do. No. Yeah. Let us know. <laughs>